On this episode of Extreme Huntress, competition is heating up at the FTW Ranch. And this time, strategy will play a huge role in who wins and who loses. Small play. Plus, Olivia, Ulrika, and Tatiana in the field at the Triple R Whitetail Ranch. Who's got what it takes to be the next Extreme Huntress? Stay tuned and find out. Huntress. Extreme Huntress is brought to you by Burris Optics, Find What Matters, Coppersmith Global Logistics, Serving Hunters Worldwide, and Sam Hunter Training by FTW. Additional support provided by these fine sponsors. We're fixing to do a skills challenge right now. I want you to follow this road going up the hill. Look up the hill to the right of the road, somewhere out there is uh, what looks like a full body antelope type animal with a red target just to the right. As soon as you get down on the rifle, I'm gonna start going 20, 19, okay. 18, 17, 16. Okay. One shot, <laughs> one opportunity for 50 11, bonus points. Tatiana's 10, first. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Up next is Jamie. 17, 16. That's impact. Yep, yeah. that's impact. a hit. Impact. Impact. Yeah. Look, do that again. Oh, do that again. Yeah, that. Turkey. Next 17, up for the bonus challenge 16, is Meadow. 15, 14, 13. Impact. 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 Very good. Yeah. And finally, Ulrika. 16, 15. 14. Oh. Yes. That was too quick. In the Black Buck bonus challenge, both Meadow and Jamie hit the target. Ulrika and Tatiana came up empty. In total scores, Meadow still holds a slight lead, but this is anyone's ball game. The FTW Ranch has truly, as far as I'm concerned, one of the finest training facilities there is when it comes to hunting and firearms. And the SAM training really made me feel more confident. I really like that this training. I'm going to have that in my head for the rest of my life. It was above and beyond my wildest dreams. To learn more about Extreme Huntress hunting and shooting workshops and to vote for your favorite Extreme Huntress, go to yeah. ExtremeHuntress.com. It's the second morning and I hunted with Ulrika as the primary hunter and Tatiana as the non-hunting companion. Okay, ready to go? We're gonna go for a uh, black buck this morning. Ulrika is really easy going. She's willing to listen to suggestions. Um, you can tell that she's a hunter and she's done a lot of hunting in her uh, environment. You want to check it? Just sure. to be sure. Yeah. So, press my finger in Perfect. and then I close this and put this in. Yeah. Never done this one. So we're gonna check the wind. Because she's not from here, she wants to understand the game, the area, how things work. I wanna see her have success. I need to go over here. Yeah, push. yeah we got the bush. So we're thinking about moving this direction. Okay. And then take cover in the bushes and try okay. to get to that curve. So come on. Because there are really thick branches. You can't go through really. I wanted to hold back just at the very beginning because I'm suspicious there's a black buck at our starting point. She moved rather swiftly. We could see from a distance that the black buck were feeding and moving um, and we needed to, to close distance fast. So she didn't dilly-dally. We had some black bucks in the area. We were thinking about uh, to get, get to them and we saw them uh, in the long range distance. We tried to get closer. There was a few times that we were out in the open exposed, but she quickly got to an area so that we could be more concealed with some sort of a background. They have such great vision, you want to be sure that they're not around when you decide to make a move like that. She's wondering what those girls from Europe are doing. It was really awesome, exciting. 
the females are looking so neat and nice. So, way they were on the, they were not running. They were just walking away from us. They didn't notice that we were around them. She is just excited to see the black buck, and I appreciate that. This is about sharing time in the field, showing her skills, and killing doesn't necessarily show me your skill as a hunter. So we were walking more and then we saw an elk, elk cow with a calf, so it was really nice. Uh, Tatiana was quite frustrated. She had a totally different game plan in mind. If these gals have a certain way they want to hunt, they can hunt it however they want. If they want to listen to some suggestions and tips from people who know the area, executed is up to them. Great. Uh, but this is ultimately their hunt and how they want to do it and executed is up to them. Black buck, they're tiger bait. They want to be in the open, they want to see what's going on, but then they want to sit down and digest their food for a little while, but soon get back up again. It's just understanding that. And she's getting to know the areas, so her confidence is great. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, both the gals were, were fairly patient, but I think Tatiana's got a whole other plan in mind when she's up to bat, which I believe will mean sitting still, and that's the most important thing with black buck. Well, we, we had a pretty nice morning. I'm thankful just to see those animals. Our bird's veracity scope gave me a lot of confidence. It tracked so beautifully, whether it was 700 yards back to 250 yards. The glass was amazingly clear. It worked very well. Absolutely awesome. Out hunting is for real, so you have to trust in your gear. And I really think I can trust in Boris. To learn more about Extreme Huntress hunting and shooting workshops and to vote for your favorite Extreme Huntress, go to yeah. ExtremeHuntress.com. This drill is going to be called risk or reward. So we're gonna find out how much of a gambler you are. You can play it safe or go for broke. If you think you're close in this competition, might be a good chance to take a little risk. Everywhere you shoot, you'll have two targets. There'll be one, uh, one plate of one size, and in the same area or hanging from the same rack, there'll be another plate at a smaller size. If you choose to take the larger plate, the first shot will be worth 10 points. If you choose to take your first shot at the smaller plate, you have an opportunity to earn 20 points. You have an opportunity to take a follow-up shot if you miss. That'll be worth five points. And if you miss yet again, you'll have one opportunity to take a third follow-up shot that's worth two points. Now here's the kick. You have to declare what you're gonna do before you start. Your first target is gonna be at a distance of 350 yards. It's a pair of orange plates halfway up the hill. Larry, who's gonna go first on this set? How old is Tim Fallon? Uh-oh. Yeah, 74. Oh. Oh, Whoever said 74 is correct. So <laughs> Meadows up. She's got three shots at each yard line. Okay. We're sitting at 250 yards. Okay. Miss. Miss. Miss again. Rika's up. She calls. Big plate. Nails it. Awesome. Tatiana. This girl's really level-headed. She's really confident and cool. I was excited to see how she was going to perform in this because now we got angles and wins. Right off the bat, she calls the big plate, bam, hits it. The FTW Ranch has truly, as far as I'm concerned, one of the finest training facilities there is when it comes to hunting and firearms. The SAM training really made me feel more confident. I really like that this training. I'm gonna have that in my head for the rest of my life. It was above and beyond my wildest dreams. To learn more about Extreme Huntress hunting and shooting workshops and to vote for your favorite Extreme Huntress, go to yeah. ExtremeHuntress.com. Check out the latest line of Extreme Huntress apparel and products. From mugs and sweatshirts to custom knives, find it at ExtremeHuntress.com. Jamie's up. What you gonna do, big plate or small? Small. Small plate. She's been in a bit of a rut. Can she keep it together? 250 okay. yards. Miss, miss, miss. You've got to set it 400 yards. Ulrika, you're gonna start us off? I'm gonna start off? Yep. Ulrika's up. Three 
Engaged. Miss, miss, miss. Okay, don't get into your head. After a solid shot at 450 for Tatiana, Jamie decides to take a risk. Small one. Engaged. And misses all three shots. Yes. Oof. Up next at 450 yards is Meadow. Unfortunately, she also misses all three shots. The next target is closer at 250 yards, but with a more extreme angle, meaning this shot is just as difficult as 450. Jamie is first. Impact, good for two. Way to stay in there. One bag. All right. Meadow is next. But misses all three shots. Okay. No. You hold a little, little. And Ulrika at 250 yards doesn't fare any better, also missing all three shots. As does Tatiana. Three yeah. shots, three misses. It's on the road, just to the right of the draw. They're red. Yeah. Back at the 450 yard mark, Tatiana proves she's quite a shot. I'm not small. Up next is Jamie, who decides to go for the reward and the risk, but misses all three shots. The final competitor at 450 yards is Ulrika, and she nails it. Last round is at 500 yards. 500 yards for all the marbles. 500 yards would prove to be slightly too much for Jamie. Ringy. But Meadow would hit the big plate on her first shot. Way to close it out, Meadow. Dead center, and too. And Ulrika would do her one better by hitting the small one. Nice. And the final shooter, Tatiana, would follow up with three misses as well. In the risk or reward challenge, Ulrika's consistency and the ability to hit the long shot have paid off, giving her another 100 points. In total scores, it's getting closer, but Meadow still has a slight lead. On the next Extreme Huntress, it's late night predator hunting on the FTW Ranch. Plus, Tatiana gets a chance to practice true hunting-based wildlife management on the Triple R. Who's got what it takes to be the next Extreme Huntress? Tune in to find out and go to ExtremeHuntress.com to vote for your favorite Huntress today.